What's up, YouTubers? Today I'm making a portable folding workbench or a camp table. Start out uh, by going to Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever your store is, getting yourself a two foot by four foot uh, handy panel. It's a half inch thick uh, plywood panel. This one is uh, birch, they come in a lot of different uh, styles. I've cut some support pieces that we're going to put on the ends and the sides to stiffen the table and provide a mounting point for the table leg. The only important measurement is that the end pieces need to be about five and a half inches wide in order to accept the brackets for the table legs. These inner stiffeners along the edges are only about three inches wide. going to glue and screw all these panels into place. It's a good idea when you get your handy panel home, go ahead and sand up the edges because there's a lot of sharp edges and splinters in there that'll cause problems later on. All right, in addition to your 2 by 4 foot handy panel, or whatever size plywood you want to use, uh, you're going to want some one and a quarter inch uh, construction screws and wood glue. I've pre-drilled eight inch holes in the stiffener boards. It's important to find the center of the short end for getting the uh, table legs positioned properly. Draw a line. That will help you position the uh, leg mounts. Check the description below to see where you can find these legs. They're from Target Precision in uh, Los Angeles and they're called uh, Rugged Buddy Sawhorse Legs. You can buy them direct from the company or the, you can buy them through Amazon. And I like these legs because they have a firm locking open uh, position. They also can fold and stack with each other without requiring any um, blocking of uh, the legs. All the hardware and screws that you need to install the legs are included with the legs. You don't need to buy anything extra. And they've got real nice heavy duty screws to attach the leg bases. It's a good idea to pre-drill your holes. One final step I recommend after you finish putting your coats of polyurethane on the bench is grab uh, a gate handle. This is a cord keeper. It's a piece of nylon webbing with Velcro on both sides to keep cords together. and It works great to hold the legs in place. So I'll take the handle, 
fold the legs in, find the center of gravity. Holds the legs nice and tight. There you have it.